Greetings, everyone. Uh, thank you, James, for this. Thank you, Arnett, for inviting me. Um, you will be happy to hear that you are looking at my presentation. Um, there are a few reasons for it, uh, mainly because what I'm going to be talking about is currently only an initiative and nothing really exists on paper yet. So I run part of the University of Sydney network. I run core switching and internet perimeter part. And uh, as you probably know, University of Sydney is uh, very big on research. We invest a lot of money into research, both into actual research and research infrastructure and research relationships and all that. So ICT for the University of Sydney is trying to follow this trend. And we established service delivery managers and relationship managers who are working with the researchers on achieving their objectives. So a couple of weeks ago, I think, uh, one of our enterprise architects and one of our project managers contacted me and wanted to talk about the new exciting projects that are coming in research. Namely, the university is acquiring the new transmission electron microscope, uh, what we call hybrid theater, which is basically a robotic surgical facility, a few MRI scanners, T3, T7, and all of that is sort of coming together in a, the next 12 months. So they were somewhat excited and somewhat terrified of what the, the impact of these devices is going to be on the network. And as they were explaining this to me, my brain started fragmenting back the conversation I've had a couple of months ago with Jay Carroll from University of Queensland, who's been through the teething pain of this and who's already established a 100 gig network for the research purposes. And it became clear to me that our general purpose network, as I like to call it, is just not gonna cut it for all the reasons that James had mentioned. And the only way forward is actually to establish a parallel high-speed 100 gig network dedicated to researchers only. So what we want to do is we're going to set up a few of the 100 gig nodes, one at the campus and two in our data centers where our research data stored is located, um, and connect these new fancy machines directly to this network. Um, like I said, there's currently no architecture or design or anything in place. We are still in the development stage, very early development. But the general idea is this. And obviously, security impact is something that's going to have to be thought through uh, quite carefully. Since University of Sydney does a lot of medical research, so there's a lot of sensitive information, patient data, that sort of thing. And there's obviously a lot of intellectual property on, on the research. So security is going to be paramount. And we're going to be expecting Arnett to give us a hand in that. And obviously, in establishing those 100 gig links. Um, this is only stage one. Stage two, which I hope we can achieve in the next couple of years, is going to be to connect this core research network architecture to Science DMZ, the project that Arnett are running, and that will enable our researchers to collaborate with other research institutions like CSIRO and Square Kilometer Array and whatever they're doing. So I think this is just about it, sums it all up. And I'll be happy to talk about this to anyone who wants to know more. It's just that in interest of time, we can probably move on. Thank you very much.